I said them haters surrounding me Ain't no redream Smashing on these clans When they come around with their crew I said them haters surrounding me Ain't no redream Smashing on these clans When they come around with their crew YouTube, what's up? Topher from the Hater Nation here with our third installment in the Captain's series of videos. This is gameplay from Ruzik, one of our other newest acquisitions to the clan. She came in with Tashi, and this is 2v2 on Intersection, which I do have to say is probably my favorite 2v2 map. Um, to get back to the captain's thing, there's been a lot of questions asked as to what people have to do to be a captain. First and foremost, maturity. When you're playing as a team, you have to make sure that you're respecting the other people on the team as well as the situation at hand. If you go popping off at the mouth, in a lobby and you're claiming that you represent us and you're starting to make waves with some people that we don't necessarily want to make waves with at that point um, the only reason why you should be able to do that is if you're a captain now I do understand that you know the game's full of douchebags you're gonna find those guys that are Xbox Live tough you know, come meet me real life, bro. You mad, bro. Just handle yourself accordingly. But, if it comes to a point where you really feel like you want to play against these guys, get a hold of the captain. You and the captains can discuss it. And then you can go 2v2, 3v3, 6v6, all you want. What our captains know how to do is to pick the right person for the job. Now, if you're playing against a group of people that can't, for example, you want a group that is very good at anti-camping. Now, if you're playing against a group that rushes, you want a good defense group. The captains know who's good at what, and they're able to put a team together. And if you want to be a member of that team, that's cool. But as a regular member of Hater Nation, first and foremost, you need to respect those that are captains. Now, later today, on our Facebook, we will be posting a list of all current captains. And... Our captains are actually going to be segmented into lobby captains and another section of what we've basically called OGs. OG stands for Original Gamer. The OGs in this clan have been with this clan since Black Ops. They've put a lot of time and effort into representing us as a captain. And those are the main captains. Our lobby captains do make decisions on the fly if needed. But when it comes down to the really heavy decisions, like let's say we want to vote in a new recruit, all the captains, including the lobby captains, will give their input. And those are the ones that we're going to listen to. You want to bring your buddy in? That's fine. But they need to go through a process in order to make sure we're getting the best quality player that we can get. What you don't want to be added into the clan is somebody that's about themselves and isn't willing to play as a team player. The captains can recognize those people, and that's the reason why they're there. Now in the changes video, you heard me talk about some of the changes that are going to take place. If you have any concerns about what's going on, please feel free to get a hold of myself or the captains, and we'll briefly go over some of the issues that have been occurring, and get your take on it. Because the changes that are taking place aren't just going to be all voted on. 
by the clan and that's it. You know, the, the ca clan captains, excuse me. Everybody in this clan is going to have a say in what's about to happen. There's some big things that are coming up. And if you watch some of the videos we're pushing onto the PlayStation Network, we have some huge opportunities for our competition teams to step up to the plate, including our first actual game battles squad. So there's a lot that's going to be changing for this clan, and it's all for the better. UAV recon ready for deployment. Those captains are the ones that have pushed for this, and you guys too have constantly asked a Topher, why isn't our game battles team up and running? It's because, quite frankly, we haven't gotten a squad that is that cohesive together. The search squad that we have for hardcore search is probably one of the most sought-after projects in this clan to this point. A lot of people want to play on it. There's a handful that want to lead that, that group. And, quite frankly, we didn't really have anybody except for maybe two people to step up to the plate and say, hey, this is what we want to do. So, during Clan Ops this weekend, those people that do want to be part of a of a team that runs professionally on game battles will be talked to and we'll let you guys know exactly what's going on. Some of the other changes that are going to take place are going to involve the way that we play, how we group up during operations and during normal day everything. So, if you just hold on, everything will be explained. Because I've been getting a lot of questions. Um, now back onto this video right here. If you really watch... Ruzik's pretty close to getting a Moab. And what Tashi's doing is he's... getting targets to find him to show Ruzik where they're at. And Ruzik actually pulls off a flawless assault Moab. That's 25 straight kills with a gun. She doesn't use any of her kill streaks. The assault Moab is 25 kills. Specialist Moab is 24 or less depending on how many assists you get during that point. Because remember, Specialist unlocks at a certain point your hardline. Hardline every two assists counts as a kill. And as you've seen in Shadows Moab, he got four assists to equal another two kills. So it actually cut not only his Moab down by one from 25 to 24, the four assists counted for two of those kills. So you can actually get a Moab in less than that. And everybody's wanting to get their Moabs put up. I guarantee you, and I'm promising you guys, I'm going to work very hard over the course of the rest of this week to grab everybody's Moab out and put it on the stream, put it on the channel, put it on Facebook for everybody to see it. Because everybody's asking me, how come you're only featuring certain people's Moabs and stuff? And to be honest, there's a couple of people that I've actually pulled their Moabs out from. And then in post-editing... The file's just not rendering right. You gotta understand how rendering happens with video. So I have to go back through, pull those Moabs out, re record them, and put them up. So, if you have a Moab in your file, I want you to say Moab Topher, or just say Moab on it. Send me a message on Xbox to let me know that you have them in your file. I'll pull them out. I will put them on the on the YouTube. I'm probably not going to do any more commentaries when it comes to Moabs because we have three Moabs now that have commentary video to them. But I will put them up. They'll have our opening. You'll be named in the title. Also, just 
tonight we were working on a huge project that I'm I've been undertaking when it comes to Black Ops. You guys have seen some of the montage videos that I've done before. You've watched my crossbow video, and if you haven't, please go back onto the channel and look for my crossbow video on Black Ops. I love Black Ops footage. It just looks so much smoother to me. And so that's the next big project that we got coming up. And Silent Shot has given us some background music for it. And he's going to be given credit in the video as well. So for now, this is Topher. I will be back later today, hopefully, with some more Moabs for you guys to check out. Maybe another commentary video. Not sure yet. Topher out. Peace.